We came out today with the goal of um, finding what species of fish were in this river um, and also tracking sizes and lengths of the fish in order to extrapolate and create a, a log of what the fish population, if it's changing, if it's stabilizing, if it's becoming better or worse or whatever so that we can better manage the, the natural habitat the fish are in. We started out by um, setting up nets to contain the fish in a certain stretch of river that we measured out and then went to the bottom of the stretch and then we had a small raft with and positively charged um, electron probes with the nets at the end. What the boat was doing was uh, running an electric field. Uh, the current was pulsed, so you can't just go and throw a battery in and get this to work. What happens to the fish is it will line its body up parallel to the current that is flowing between the positive electrode and the negative electrode of the ground. And uh, they uh, have the uh, nets, the metal nets that you saw, uh, as a positive electrode, so the fish should swim towards that net, and then they're fairly easy to net up when they, uh, when they get there. Once the fish are placed into the uh, holding tank on the boat, uh, they're carried in that until we get to a, another holding container that we could have in the stream. The fish are put in, transferred into that, and then after they're done doing their estimates, population shocking in those regions, they'll go back and they will uh, take the fish out. They're measured and weighed and um, then they're released. From a BYU perspective or from a, an LDS perspective is we are looking at God's creations of what was here. And we're looking at what was here at the time the pioneers came in. And we do have a legacy here that we really ought to be trying to preserve.